In coordinated statements from mosques around the country, Iran's clerics gave another stark warning to the opposition leaders and their supporters. Ayatollah Ahmad Jannati, the speaker of the country's top legal body, the Guardian Council, said anti-government protesters were corrupting God's earth and accused them of being slaves to foreigners. Our people have fought with the United States for 30 years and disgraced America and you are nothing compared to them and your masters have been defeated. The words are serious. The crimes the opposition supporters are being publicly accused of carry the death penalty. But just hours before the Friday prayers began, equally serious words from opposition leader and defeated presidential candidate Mir Hossein Mousavi. In a statement released to an opposition website, he said the people had the right to protest and that he was ready to sacrifice his life to defend that right. Referring to other reformist leaders, he said, Neither Karubi nor Katami nor even my friends and myself issued statements ahead of Ashura. Nevertheless, the people came back to the stage and proved that they won't wait for statements. I explicitly and clearly say that ordering the execution, murdering or jailing of Karubi, Musavi and the likes of us won't solve the problem. In his latest statement, Musavi said the country was in a serious crisis and offered five solutions for the way out. He said the government should be held accountable for its actions, answerable to people and the parliament and that there should be a transparent election law that would guarantee free and fair elections. He also called for the release of all political prisoners and for the freedom of press. Finally, he said the government should recognize people's rights for legal gatherings allowed by the Iranian constitution. He made no call for the annulment of the disputed presidential poll and said there's still time to save the system. But the religious leaders seem to have little appetite for talks or compromise. And security forces and the police are still cracking down hard on anti-government protests. On Wednesday, pro-government supporters rallied across Iran swearing allegiance to Iran's supreme leader and calling for the execution of the opposition leaders. And Iran's police chief said there was no more room for tolerance over participants in the opposition protests. The government has arrested at least 20 prominent pro-reform figures, including three senior advisors to Musavi since Sunday. And his conciliatory message may come too late for the hardliners to accept. Ali Reza Ronaghi, Al Jazeera, Tehran.